Dr. Ben Carson's groundbreaking work in pediatric neurosurgery has made medical history. He gained world recognition for successfully separating conjoined twins. Now his extraordinary life is captured on DVD in the movie Gifted Hands, which is based on his autobiography. Academy Award winner Cuba Gooding Jr. stars as Dr. Carson. Welcome to Johns Hopkins. A man who overcame insurmountable odds through his faith in God, his mother's love, and his determination to never give up. The brain, it's a miracle. I met the man behind the movie, whose life story is inspiring a new generation through his books and his latest film. Very nice to meet all of you. Such, such intelligent looking young people. <laughs> what did it feel like to see your life to come to life on screen? It was, it was pretty amazing. It's very emotional. You even shed a few tears during that. My wife still says she cries every time she sees it. <laughs> the reason why it was done, just the same reason for the book, Gifted Hands, was to help people understand that they can take charge of their lives. They don't have to be a victim, that whatever's going on in your life, you don't have to succumb to your circumstances, but there's something you can do, you know, and you can pray about it and even get more wisdom on that. Raised by a single mother in extreme poverty, Ben struggled in school. But the self-proclaimed class dummy rose to the top of his class after his mother taught him the importance of reading, despite her own illiteracy. What were some of the scenes that caused you to cry a little bit when you watched it? The scene uh, where the teacher was berating all the other students for allowing me to be number one. Benjamin is a boy of color. He has no father in his life. He comes to us with tremendous disadvantages. There's no reason you shouldn't have done better than him. What's wrong with you kids? You're not trying hard enough. You know, that was, that was downplayed in the movie. It was actually much worse than that. Was it really? It really was. What did that do to shape you? You know, it just made me cognizant of the fact that, you know, there are people out there who are going to judge you not on, on who you are, but on what you look like. And, you know, I, I reached a point in my life where I just said, you know what, that's not my problem. <laughs> it's their problem. You know, I really don't have time to deal with that because, you know, I need to concentrate on developing the God-given talents that I have. For me, I only have one person I have to please, and that's God. Ben developed a strong faith in God early on, thanks to his mother's example. God is greater than any human being, and we have to rely on God in order to supply our needs, even though we don't see how we are going to get them. He later attended Yale on scholarship and the University of Michigan Medical School. At the age of 33, he became the youngest director of pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. To see a doctor and someone with so much influence and so many accomplishments say, I pray, and it's something you say boldly and you do all the time. So tell me about, what do you pray about? Well, first of all, I, I, I pray for wisdom uh, and guidance mm -hmm. in everything that I do. Uh, you know, many people have said, you know, that I'm sort of on the edge and a maverick and for, because of some of the operations that I've done, and I'm not at all. Uh, it's just that I pray, I ask God to give me wisdom. Should I do it, shouldn't I do it? You know, guidance in terms of how to do it, who to consult with. All of those kinds of things are incredibly important. Dr. Carson's love for children extends beyond the walls of Johns Hopkins Children's Center. He's dedicated his life to serving kids in the community through the Carson Scholars Fund and the Ben Carson Reading Room Project. We want every single kid in this nation to recognize, you know, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, that they can get the same kind of recognition for using their brain and for being kind and considerate and nice to other people as they can for shooting a 25-foot jump shot. He's a family man and a medical history maker who's received over 50 honorary doctorate degrees. In 2008, Dr. Carson was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. Still, none of his accomplishments compare to his greatest reward in life. The most important thing for me is having a relationship with God, you know. To know that the owner, the creator of the universe, loves you. 
sent his son to die for your sins. I mean, that's a very empowering thought. Knowing him and knowing that he loves me gives me encouragement and confidence to move forward.